dirty hands. Went from sun to rain to now hail. making the best timber, the best logs, the best planks ever. And I'm down here in like the swamp, you know? Um, you know what I'm finding all over the place here? It is wild watercress all over. Like maybe 20 different plants. And I don't remember ever seeing that before, but you couldn't get in here before and it was totally covered by shade. So now the sun is hitting this area, it's releasing all this life. You look like you're ready for ready to get down to business. I am. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Okay. Good luck, my dear. You get on your nasturtiums. This bed's gonna have the kohlrabis, the cabbages, the kales, the cauliflowers, the celeries, the Napa cabbages, more celeries, broccolis, Romanesco. Pretty much brought to you by the Baker Creek Ski Company. <laughs> Love them. All right, so the edge of the bed, where are you planting? Nasturtiums. Nice. Two different kinds. Uh, yeah, this one is gonna be, a. this one's called the Tip Top Alaskan Salmon. It's like a salmon color, like a salmon pink color. Yeah. Capucine. Cap Capucine. 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 Which Out is of like Africa. A, which is like a variety. So it looks like they have red, orange, and yellow, which last year these did really, really well. I didn't plant these ones last year. But, and the slugs didn't eat them, right? Or did they? They wanted the marigolds. They didn't eat these at all. No, no bugs touched these. Yeah. But the bees loved them. The bees were in them. This entire bed is kind of brought to you by Baker Creek Seed Company, because look at all the Baker Creeks. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> this is fun. Best dirty hands. I know that we love the purple bok choy the best last season, right? Yeah, and they're so cute. They're For the like all the stir fries in the wok stove and baozi steam buns. And... How about that? Okay, so fruit trees, we've got so many now. Let's plant them. This area is just so uh, sunny, and I feel that if we plant anywhere along this road, that the trees, not only will they go find the water, they'll be protected from too much water, but also as you get closer to the yurt, it's more shade, but they can grow into the sun. My beloved ginkgo, I have a dwarf and a bigger one, but I think the 
the smaller one should go back there. Close then, to the garden beds. Yeah, close to the garden bed because it won't get very big. It's a dwarf. Okay. And then you were thinking, our that first planting our first nut trees. Squirrel. <laughs> so let's lay out your ginkgo and then like three or four um, hazelnuts and we'll plant them in all this brush here and they could be growing while we do other work. All right. taking a knee. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm tired. People don't realize like when I spend like an hour or two chainsawing, it's like it's meant it's mentally exhausting because I have to stay sharp with the chainsaw, you know, for like the whole time and mm -hmm. no mistakes. I'm tired. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do a row of hazelnut trees of different varieties leading up to the earth. Mm -hmm. Hazel, 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 hazel. Can you imagine us squeezing hazelnut milk through cheesecloth and making our own fresh hazelnut milk with one ingredient, hazelnuts. And I'm really excited. I love hazelnuts. So the problem is that we built the yurt, you guys can see behind me on the logging road. This logging road was created um, possibly 80 to 100 years ago. And the person that owned the property beforehand, I met him and he gave me a little bit of history. And if I remember correctly, he said that when he built one of the other roads in the area, mm -hmm in the late 80s, early 90s, he took two feet of rock off of this old logging road to provide the rock for the other road. He said, so it, right now it, it's about four to six feet above the native ground. Um, Nicole and I put wood chips on top and you've seen us dig the post when you guys watched us build the yurt from scratch. If you haven't, go back and watch that series. And what I've noticed is that when I dig the logging road, it's very difficult to dig because of all the rock. And usually what these loggers do is they set dynamite in an area with a lot of rock. They explode the rock and then make a quarry. Then they use the rock for these roads. And that's how they truck the logs out of here, put them on the ocean, and then send them throughout Canada to Japan, whatever. So it's difficult for us to dig in this rock. But when I do dig in the rock and I get a few rocks out of the way, there's a lot of dirt that's made its way in the crevices now. And a lot of worms are in there. So I feel like the rock is good because it's aerating the soil and it's creating a lot of drainage. And I don't want the fruit trees to die from, from rotting. So this is a good place to plant them. Okay, so here's what I mean. Watch what happens. We want to put this guy here. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a nice forest floor, but nothing happens. It looks green because there's moss on top, but like, so this is going to be a lot of fun. But I know for a fact that if I put the tree there and I make a little pot, fill it with amazing soil, the tree's roots will go through that rock and, and eventually it will have an amazing life. I'm, I'm just positive. My gardening brain is going to do it. So we're going to use the shovel, but also the back end of hammers and uh, the auger here. So. All right.
How does it smell? Earthy. Maybe there needs to be a Nicole ringtone where she goes, Earthy. <laughs> <laughs> Available now at comarebi.ca. I'll hold and you do the pot. Just all shaking there. Our first nut tree. Oh. <laughs> Here, just hold it just like that, okay? That was awesome. This looks so good, babe. <clears throat> Unlimited wood chips. How does that look like? Looks good. Okay. I'll go por favor, señorita. Mami chula. <laughs> hey, I'm digging some dirt off this old stump, and I thought I found like a piece of orange plastic from like the old logging days, but it wasn't plastic. Oh. He's sleeping, hibernating. His belly is. He's like a little tiny, like a little baby. Put him back home. He looks like so intoxicated. Come on, bro. He's crawling away now. With all of his strength. Come on, Salamander. Hey. Hey, what you cooking? Lunch. Lunch? What's for lunch? Wow, let's do curry. Sounds good. Folks out there in YouTube land, they saw us built this, so I don't need to show them too much, but you can go back and watch the whole series of Nicole and I building the wok stove. But uh, eventually we'll have more of a deck here, so we'll have like a walk around and an eating area, but for now, we feed the fire from the other side, and it's light and heating up the wok, so I'll cook it with flame. I don't know about you, but when we do stir fries and food in this wok, it just has that charred, delicious... Smoky flavor. Smoky flavor. So in this curry, we're gonna do um, limes, Anaheim peppers, sweet peppers, carrots, peanuts, onions, potatoes, tomatoes. We got a little spice bowl here of garlic, Thai chilies, habanero, and bay leaves. And the spices inside this bowl are um, a curry spice from Kauai Pharmacy, if you want to check them out. But also some turmeric, salt pepper, paprika, garlic powder. Yeah, Jake's secret spice. And then we got a bowl of... Uh, organic coconut fat and cream. But first I'm gonna throw in some uh, sesame oil here and some of the coconut fat and get this party started. Fire cooks it fast, so I think the order of what you cook is important.
potty? Yes. Potty. Hey, try this. Some of the, the curry broth. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. A lot of flavor. Is that a good thing? Okay, so the first one is done, and we're going to put it on the side of the wok. Yeah? Let's do it. Look at that. Crispy. Mm. Nice. Mm. Give us some Mark Weens here. I got it. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> Look at that Mark Ween, check it out. <clears throat> Can you smell it? it? Smells good. Okay, fire is raging, curry's out, and now Nicole is cooking some chapati. Oh yeah. Looks amazing. How is it? Really good. Packed with flavor. And then you get that, that charry, smoky flavor from being cooked in the wok stove. That's delicious. And then this is a bonus. <laughs> We did good. You want to serve me? It tastes like the Himachal Pradesh. <laughs> Theirs were pretty good though. Yeah. I haven't made chapati in a while, so. That is good. Wow, do you like the spice? This has red chilies and habanero. Mm -hmm. I knew Nicole was the one for me when she can eat spicy food just like I can. Mm. Thank you. Thank you.
pretend I'm an almond tree with beautiful pink flowers. Would you want to look at me all day? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think it's a great spot. So it's kind of like a raised bed. It has room to grow into the earth. There's actually dirt here. But it also has all this mulch around it. Paul's Hardy Almond. Self fertile. Hey, how's it going? Good. My wrist hurts. <laughs> this is your little cave, so is it cute enough and cozy enough? Yeah. It's um, a wood stove in it though because it is very chilly in here. Yeah, for sure. Hey, aren't you glad we um, had excess of this flooring and just enough for the bunkie? I think we have like the exact amount that we needed. Kind of weird. Ooh. And then flip it over and show the backside. It's got the insulation built in and that's protected us for two years in the yurt, yeah? Blue sky all around. How can it be raining so hard? Sun shower. Standing in the new bunkie. The floors are done. We finished them yesterday and they look amazing. I have all the windows and the doors open to let in some fresh air because it's sunny outside. The linseed oil is done on the inside and I'm gonna start on the outside later. But it just looks so good with the floor in here. And today we decided that we're gonna move the bed out here. Um, it's time. <laughs> Yay! There's still some details that we have to do um, with the door and stuff, but it's nothing major. Um, so I'm gonna move the bed in here. And so last night was our last night sleeping in the yurt, which is kind of crazy <laughs> to think about. So yeah, we're gonna be moving our bed into our new bedroom. I'm gonna probably move the dresser and stuff in here. And yeah, maybe a couple of other things, but I'm really excited. The floor just looks so good, let me give you guys a better look.
casi siempre. Looks really cool, babe. Does it? Yeah, so cozy. You mean to bring the mattress over? Yeah, it's just right there. What's this quilt on here? It's just protecting it from the yurt. You haven't seen yourself in three years. Because our mirror is like underneath the loft where it's very dark and this is very light. I mean, we see ourselves when we're editing. Yeah, that's different. This is crazy. Perfect. Really good. Does it or is it kind of weird looking? No, I really like it. Wood stove time. Yes. So the wood stove's going to go cute. So I might have to move it because of wood stove. But I made this. Isn't that pretty? You made that one? Both of them. Wow. Yeah. They look fantastic. Okay, let's get it warm in here. <laughs> Hey, a lot of you guys have been commenting below that the price of lumber is all up and uh, I feel really fortunate to be able to produce amazing lumber like this, you know, five feet away with just the cost of gasoline. I wish I can produce my own gas, but chainsaw just takes gasoline and uh, deltoid and bicep power. Let me show you these planks. Chofu almost filled up, ready for a hot tub. You guys want to join me? Beautiful sunset over the mountain. And look at this log right here. This is a um, really good looking one. Super straight, like that's raw. We'll sand this down a bit. This one's also really nice. Then look at the thickness. This one's right from the middle of the log. Just super thick and gorge. Very nice.
did this come from? I don't know. <laughs> Out of nowhere, right? Yeah. Let's get this done before it changes. Well, that didn't last long. Freaking five minutes later. No, two minutes later. And like, I can see over there, it's big rain coming. I'm gonna be stuck up here. It's so slippery. It's taking like all the muscles I have to stay on here. Yours end lower, but like pivot to the right a little bit. Right there. Went from sun to rain to now hail. <laughs> now the hail starts. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know if you can convey to the people out there watching it's freezing in here. Oh, you can't see me. It's like yeah, it's one. But where do you want the bottom of this store to be? Because the bottom will be right here. I think that's perfect. I think that's going to be great. Like, even like right here is great. And then we have a flashing for the sides and then we have a flashing for over here to block the, the wood. So here, I'll just turn it this way and you got it now. Okay, you want to be the driver? Screw me. <laughs> Far one first, how about that? I just it's easier. You're a loose thing. Okay. And look at who's creeping on us through the window there outside. Looks like it. The weather is insane. It's the most insane weather location on earth I've ever I've ever lived in or been to. Yeah, it's crazy. Hey, it's like it's rain, snow, and hail all at the same time. And wind. <laughs> and wind and the sun. This is truly a magical place. Now the sun is out. I mean, I know this, these are edits, but I'm talking 90 seconds between each weather pattern. Wow.
I've got that screwdriver. In the top, right there, right here, right here. In the top of the stand. Take a photo. I think you're in. Are you even on that side? Sure. Okay, oh, sorry. There you go. Yes. Ta -da. It's very cute. You still think it's the cutest wood stuff ever? Yeah, it's so adorable. What do you think? Well, now we can see if I'm like down here at night, put it open, grab wood, put it in there, close it. And, but, and then you can also, and you'll be <clears> up a little bit higher, and you can also make it while standing up too. Yeah, I'm gonna be like here. Honestly. And like, oh, and then standing up to actually make the flyer. Oh my God, this is like, this is like luxurious. Cause I don't think people realize like the squatting down and being on my knees. It's really hard. And like the fire twice a day or once a day is like, I don't think I have any cartilage left in my knees. Don't worry, the martial arts and the qigong is coming to rebuild myself. You get up there, baby kicks. You getting it? Yes. You think one eating one of these cold screws will do it? I don't know, what do you think? Okay, so double wall, and then this is the insulated pipe that's gonna pass through the bunkie. Okay, so you're gonna have to drill the hole because okay, I'm touching the roof there, right? <laughs> <laughs> we have a hole, but I don't think it's big enough. Here's Jakey. <laughs> Ew. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Wow.
I'm already digging this. This is like so luxurious just to like sit here and make the fire. What do you think? I think it's good. It's warm. <laughs> <laughs> what is this deal? What's your deal ratio? Alright, get back in the meat there. 